William Harrison was the ninth president of America and is remembered as the first president to die in office, serving just for 32 days. William Henry Harrison was born on February 9, 1773, in Charles City County, Virginia. He came from a prominent political family who lived on the Berkeley Plantation, the traditional home of the Harrison family. He was the last president born as a British subject before American independence. His grandson was President Benjamin Harrison. William Henry Harrison died on April 4, 1841, in Washington, D.C., while still in office. The career of William Harrison included the roles of military officer, politician, and statesman. He was well-educated and attended the University of Pennsylvania. He became the ninth president of America in 1841 and served for just 32 days. William Harrison married Anna Tuthill Symes. She was the daughter of Judge John Cleve Symes, a former representative to the Congress of the Confederation. William Harrison and his wife Anna had ten children, nine of whom lived into adulthood. William Harrison belonged to the Whig political party. The Whig political party operated from the early 1830s to the mid-1850s in opposition to the Democratic Party and favored a program of modernization and economic protectionism. He was 68 years old when he was inaugurated as the ninth president. Inauguration is a president's swearing-in ceremony. William Harrison died on his 32nd day in office. John Tyler stood as vice president. William Harrison was 5 feet 8 inches in height and had a slim build. He had thin brown hair that turned gray as he aged, closely set eyes, thin lips, a strong jaw, and a fair complexion. He was described as a plain-speaking, good-humored, and unpretentious man. Harrison was a military hero and was given the nickname of Old Tippecanoe, in reference to Harrison's victory at the 1811 Battle of Tippecanoe against the Shawnee and a large Native Indian confederacy. During his lifetime, he played a key role in major events of the era. He was appointed governor of the Indian territories and defeated a force of British and Indians, including Tecumseh, at the Battle of the Thames. William Harrison began the War of 1812 as the Major General of the Kentucky Militia. During his life, William Harrison suffered from various health problems, including pneumonia, pleurisy, jaundice, and septicemia. This was not unusual for this time period, as medical knowledge was in its infancy. What is more surprising is that he survived these illnesses and lived to the age of 68 years old. William Harrison gave his inaugural address in freezing snow without adequate clothing, and that led to his death from pleurisy and pneumonia. He died within a month, on April 4, 1841, in Washington, D.C. So ends our short biography about the life and presidency of William Harrison. He was the first president to die in office after serving just for 32 days. The next U.S. president was John Tyler.